hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends hope you are all doing well so today i will be explaining uh, the model third question number 5a a die was thrown 9000 times and throw of 5 or 6 was obtained 3240 times okay on the assumption of random throwing do, do the data indicate an unbiased die okay so as you already know a die is a six faced okay it is saying that the 5 or 6 is coming 3240 times when die is thrown 9 thousand times okay so i can write down in the solution the probability of getting five or six in a single throw uh, is p is equal to two by six why two by six is yes, because there are six faces in a die okay so out of six these two faces five or six are coming uh, 3240 times so five or six if i just take the probability so these are the two faces two by six is one by three is the probability of getting these two faces okay then you already know the formula p plus q is equal to 1 this is the probability of an event plus probability of not an event okay is always equal to 1 so i can calculate the q value from this q is equal to 1 minus p so q is equal to 1 minus p value is given on by 3 so you will get q value as 2 by 3 so later on it will be useful for the formula okay since a die is thrown 9000 times okay as already mentioned in the problem uh, we are getting the probability for these two faces as 1 by 3 so if it is thrown 9000 times i can write down the expected number of getting 5 or 6 uh, faces uh, is equal to 1 by 3 the probability of these two faces multiplied by total number of times the die is thrown so multiplied by 9000 okay when you just calculate it you will get 3000 so this is the expected number of getting 5 or 6 faces when you are throwing a die 9000 times then what is the difference it is in the question on the basis of assumption uh, they are getting 3240 times these two faces 5 and 6 okay so the difference is 3240 minus 3000 is equal to 240 so this is the difference uh, between the expected and the assumption value over there okay so the formula is uh, for the z if we, uh, we have to check the unbiased or biased one so z is equal to x minus np divided by root of npq x is the uh, this value 3240 on the basis of assumption what they are getting okay so this is your 3240 minus n is the total number of times a die is thrown that is 9000 9, so 9000 into probability we have already calculated 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 divided by npq root of 9000 into probability is 1 by 3 and q is also 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is here so once you calculate this one you will get z is equal to 5.3 5.37 okay and you should uh, know over here at 1% level of significance if we are checking the biased or unbiased one so 1% 1 level level of significance significance the standard value of z is 2.58 okay so you have to check at this particular value that is 1% level of significance z is equal to 2.58 whenever it is not mentioned in the question so just compare with this value so z value is coming 5.37 so it is much more greater than this 2.58 so you can write down in the conclusion that since z is equal to 5.37 is greater than 2.58 therefore die is biased if it is less than this 2.58 then we can say that it is unbiased okay so i hope this much is clear to you people so this is all about this problem thank you